My name is Why Not, but my real name is Antonio Spirovsky. I live in Denmark, Copenhagen. I come originally from, from Macedonia. I do rap, hip-hop music, R&B, with a little Scandinavian flavor to it. I have an album coming out, Mama's Boy, pretty soon. Can't wait for people to hear my album. It's gonna be incredible. When I was younger, I used to rap with this band, but then it was kind of like we, we grew apart in some way. And um, I wanted to make more, uh, maybe commercial rap, and they were heading in another direction. And we're still friends, but it wasn't like we wanted to do the same thing. So I chose to 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 do some stuff on my own. Family means everything to me. Um, the Mama's Boy title is just something that I wanted to do because I feel like I was doing something different and, and telling people that you don't really have to be this have this gangster image just to be a rapper. It could it could be it could be about other stuff. It could be about love. It could be about partying. It could be sometimes when you're sad it just doesn't have to always be about, you know, getting drunk and and, and going with a lot of women and uh, and beating people up. It could be about other things that people can relate to. I feel like that's like giving a statement out that this is not the typical type of rap album that you would get from any rapper because Mama's Boy is not a typical image for a rapper so it's 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 kind of saying that I of course have a hard edge but I have a soft edge too. When I was younger I used to listen to a lot of uh, a lot of pop like Michael Jackson and uh, he was a real big uh, inspiration for me. Um, just you know, seeing him perform uh, his videos and his music was real big in my life when I was a when I was a kid. Um, my dad listened to a lot of soul, like Whitney Houston and Stevie Wonder, and I listened to a lot of rap and hip hop, Naughty by Nature and Outkast and a lot of stuff. So I feel like I have a I have a soft side that has Stevie Wonder and Michael Jackson and all these other people like Boys to Men and then I listen to a lot of hip hop and, and rap so it's it's kind of my music is kind of like a mix of, of all kinds of stuff so then with a little Macedonian flavor to it it was probably the hardest time of my life doing this album um, there's 11 songs on it and um, I'm very satisfied with it what I like about this album is you can listen to it from, from start to finish and feel like you don't get tired of it because there's a lot of different inspirations in, in the song. Um, there's a lot of different flavors to it. It's not not really one song that, that you can say that reminds you of the next one. And that's, that's what I like about it. Some people, they complain a lot when they listen to a hip-hop album. There's maybe two or three songs on there and then the rest of it is crap. And I feel like... This album is, has something for everybody to, to to feel and to like. So there's a lot of inspirations from, from hip-hop and pop and soul and a little bit of rock, a little bit of hardcore rap. Um, there's a lot of different stuff on there. So so I, f I feel like there should be something for, for everybody to listen to. I think it's mostly mostly young people who listen to uh, to hip hop normally, but I feel there's a lot of different messages in the song that people people can relate to on the album. Uh, you have love, and you have people that have died, or you feel suppressed, or all kinds of stuff. So I feel like. The music in a lot of different ways can 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 make other people re relate to it as well because they have probably been through the same feeling that I have once in their life. So hopefully a lot of people will, will like it. I mean, some of the stuff is kind of different from what what else is out there. So I feel feel there's there's a real international sound to the sound that we have. Uh, the songs that me and me and the producers have made are are um, 
are up to the standard to any other American artist. And it has a kind of a Scandinavian flavor to it, so it's not it's not your typical hip hop. You can hear is you can hear it's not American, but you don't really know where it's from. You know, it's it still has that international sound, but it's not it's not American. So I I really like the fact that that it's that it's a little bit different from what what is out there right now, and that people seem to love it. So. So I'm real happy with it. Most of the time right now I'm concentrating on just getting this album out to the world and just focusing on, on what is now. But of course I have in the back of my head an idea of, of start, starting to make music again. But right now I just feel like I'm, I'm going to put all my energy into, into getting this album out and getting, getting the, best, the best out of it and just get people to, to, to listen to it anywhere in the world and that's that's really my mission is just to get it get it out everywhere so that's what I'm focusing on right now I feel like there's there's a big difference now that I really want to fight to to uh, to stay in the music business and if I don't make it as an artist then hopefully I can I can make it as a songwriter or, or something else and write for other people so that's that's what I want to do with with my career. That's staying in the music business.